you know, the, the, the reason... The reason Tony Blair can start wars for no... You know, you know without asking people, <laughs> is because there's no opposition. <laughs> you know, it's their fault. It's Mike Green's Reed's fault. fault. <laughs> the deaths of our servicemen <laughs> are on his conscience. <laughs> uh, I, I sorry, do... sorry, David. I've made a mistake. It's false. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, false, uh, no, false. it is true. I do uh, hope Mike Reed is watching this. Um, <laughs> yes, he does uh, traditionally round off the uh, Tory party conference with a song. Uh, it saves security having to usher people out of the building. <laughs> uh, so at the end of that round, it's uh, Lee's team for whom the future's bright, leading as they do 7 5. <laughs> And so, joyously, we come to the final round. Some quick-fire truths and or lies for our panellists. And remember, they still have no idea what's written on the other side of the card. Uh, sensational truth or utter tosh. Starting now, <coughs> Leslie. I have been banned from Stretter My Shrink. <laughs> well, yeah, what did you do? I was, was skating with my friend, and you had to go upstairs to really see the nice blokes. And I didn't know, unbeknown to me, but you weren't allowed upstairs. And so uh, we got asked to leave downstairs, and I just got a bit gobby. So, what, sorry, what's the upstairs of an ice cream? Oh, the, is that... <laughs> the upstairs is where the viewing gallery. And, so, um, why did they throw you out? Or why someone they... had moved the sign saying, don't go up there. And um, <laughs> me and Geraldine Hellard just thought, we'll go up there anyway. Good use of specific name of a possible person who exists. <laughs> Um, How old will you be? About 14. OK. Is this I, stacking up? I just think the sign had been moved. You went in there anyway. It's an honest mistake. Yeah. Why would they ban you from the ice? No, no, no. no. Well, the ice warden came up and said, you're not allowed so up what? here. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a great job title, isn't it? <laughs> I am the ice warden. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I do not... I own the ice, I guard the ice for future generations. I am one with walrus and seal. Uh, and oh, so, stop. so she oh, came up stop. to you, he came up to you, and he said, came up to, and, and he said you, you, I'm going to have to take you downstairs. So he took me downstairs, and unbeknown to me, he was actually taking me outside the door. Were you uh, still in your skates <laughs> at this stage? <laughs> I'm thinking. just a little bit worried that he's not thought it through and you're gonna... <laughs> But Ice Warden Man can breathe on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> All the way home. <laughs> Me and Geraldine Hellard yeah. tossed out into the street in our in our sheepskin coats, and I just turned around and went, F off! <laughs> so that might have been when you were back. <laughs> It was right. the obscenity to the ice warden moment. Ice warden. Yeah. So ice wardens don't take kindly to that. No. Dave, what's your conclusion? I don't really believe this. You know what, though? It's so bad, it's good. I, I think it's a lie. Right, well, there's two of us think it's a lie, so I think we say it's a lie. Yes, they're saying it's a lie. OK, the yeah. truth then, Leslie. It's true. Oh! It is completely true. Nice work, Leslie. Yeah. Uh, it's true, Leslie is banned, or was banned, from uh, Stratham Ice Rink. In 1984, Torval and Dean's thrilling Olympic win caused such an upsurge of interest in ice dancing that they were given their own show just 23 years later. <laughs> uh, next. <laughs> David. I have formulated a five-point plan for surviving if I were in prison. <laughs> David, please tell us this five-point plan for surviving in prison. <laughs> OK. One, I have to use the fact that uh, I, I've got a degree in some way. I have to sell the fact that I, you know, have, have knowledge. Right. Secondly, I have to, in some way, find someone who is physically strong to try and, you know, save, save me, you know, from <laughs> the, the, vi the big men and the soap dropping and the, and the bar. <laughs> Thirdly, I have to make sure that this person isn't a person who will bum me. <laughs> Fourthly, I need, I need to have some commodity I can sell, so I need to have some deal with someone I knew on the outside, bringing in something like, uh, you know, cigarettes, so that I could, um, you know, sell them to other inmates. Right. And number five? <laughs> and, yeah, number five would be to get a, uh, a PhD while I was in there. What is the likelihood of you actually going to prison? Well, cut a long story short, I, I, did, um, I did a terrible, terrible thing, but I got away with it. <laughs> 
or, so or, this, or was a, this was an imminent... No, I, was, I formulated this when I was a late teenager and I, um, you know, <laughs> I, I, was, I was frightened of prison. How old were you? I think 17 or 16, 17. So, so the first one was what, sorry? To get a degree? A degree. No, that was the last one. Use his degree. No, the first one you said was to oh, use your degree. Use your but degree. you were 17. Yeah, no, so part of your five-point plan of how to survive in prison is I must get a degree, and number five yeah. is I must get a PhD. It's this yeah. kind of talk that's going to get you into trouble in prison in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't five topics of conversation when in prison. Oh. I, I wasn't going to bring these things up. So what are you going to do while you're here? <laughs> I seem to have a cocktail in my hand. <laughs> Why am I the only one? <laughs> oh, I've dropped my cocktail. Uh, Don't pick don't it up. Pick it up. <laughs> Uh, what, what are you thinking, thinking then? Do you know what? I'll tell you why I think it's true is because Dave is one of the few people I know that if he did do a five point plan, if I was doing a five point plan, it would be like get a brick, get a rounder's bat, get something yeah. else that's big. But David involves two forms of education within the plan yeah. mm, <laughs> degree, PhD. Maybe I should make it a seven point plan and get the masters. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a lie. Uh, what do you think, Leslie? I think it's bullshit. I think it's <laughs> You, Leslie. You're a big liar. <laughs> <laughs> fight, 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 fight. <laughs> so, Lee, you're the team captain. What's your verdict? I think that what he's saying is utter rubbish, and that's a lie. David, put us out of our misery. Uh, yes, I'm afraid to say it is a lie. It is. Yes. Well, Spawn. Well, the views. Absolutely right, it is a lie. David has not formulated a five-point plan for surviving are, are there, uh, if he were in prison. Are there other cards in here like, you know, you had 19 different names for your grandmother? What are they? <laughs> uh, granny. <laughs> nah. Um, um, yes. A five-point plan for how to survive in prison. I've got no idea how to survive in prison. Don't go to prison. <laughs> Only commit crimes you can get away with. Yeah. <laughs> that was horrible. That was nasty. Uh, next. <clears throat> Leslie, again. I have never eaten an apple, not even taken a bite. Um, why not? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm actually allergic. It's All right. really upsetting. How, how did you find out you're allergic to it's apples? Actually, only to the green variety, which is like either the Golden Delicious or the Granny Smith. I don't know what it is. It's something in the skin that makes it green that I get allergic. So you've eaten Reaction. other apples that are not the ones you're allergic to? I'm all right to. with the yellow ones. Oh, so you've eaten the yellow ones? Yeah, and red ones. So just read your statement again. <laughs> <laughs> I have never yeah. eaten... A green. A green. <laughs> <laughs> No, you see, they've made a mistake here. <laughs> I told them, I, don't, I told them upstairs, I said, it's green. They made a mistake on one of my cards as well, and they said that I'd made a five-point yeah. plan. Could I possibly push you for a verdict? I think that's a lie. You're saying it's a lie, Leslie? Oh, tell us. Oh, it's surprise, surprise! A lie. It is a lie. <laughs> And that uh, electronic flatulence signals the end of uh, that final round, and it's Lee's team who are tonight's conquerors, having vanquished David's team 11 7. <laughs> so, uh, clap on the back to the winners, a uh, clip round the ear to the losers, and finally, just remember that you can always tell if a politician is lying because their lips move, which is coincidentally <laughs> also how you tell if Jade Goody is reading. Good night. <laughs> The Mining Class is back on BBC One with The One Show, weekday nights at 7. After the news, Denzel Washington's In Deep, In Man on Fire, big movie action here at 10.45 tonight.